Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's a very popular music festival here in West Michigan that draws thousands every year. We're talking Unity Christians Music Festival and how it's some exciting news for all the fans because uh, it's starting next week. And we're joined this morning by Shannon Anders, who is a member of the festival's board. Uh, thanks for waking up with us and coming in this, uh, this early morning on this Friday, Shannon. Well, thank you for having me. We're always excited to talk about the festival. Yeah, well, we're always excited to talk about anything happening here in West Michigan. So give us the rundown. Uh, when is the festival? What are the times? Where can we find it? Let's start there before we dig into the, uh, the nitty gritty of it. Sure, I'll give you some of the details. Sure. But UnityMusicFestival.com is our go-to okay. you know, website. The festival does start next Wednesday, the 7th. That's our free day. We call it day zero, no ticket uh, required. Oh, that's great. And that is um, held at Heritage Landing, downtown Muskegon, right on the shores of uh, Muskegon Lake. Shade, grass, not out in a dusty field, really beautiful <laughs> setting. You know, that's a big for a festival. Yeah, we open at three on, on Wednesday, and as I said, no ticket required. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we open at one o'clock, and uh, you know, go all day. We have bands all day. Uh, our headliner on Thursday is Matthew West, definitely a, a crowd favorite of, mm -hmm. of ours. We've had him many times. And then Friday night headliner is Zach Williams, um, preceded by Mac Powell, who was a longtime singer-songwriter of Third Day. And then Saturday night we end the festival with 10th Avenue, Avenue North, and then uh, we are messengers. Besides music, what else can uh, people expect from this festival? Any kind of special food trucks, events? What's uh, what's around the music happening? Yeah, you can't have an event without food, right? right. So we do have a ton of food vendors, and we uh, host our own Meyer Family Food Tent, where we I'm going to say artificially price stuff, two dollars for a hot dog, that type of thing. Oh, so great. we really are trying to be family friendly. And so that's very affordable, but we have a wide range of, of uh, stuff, you know, beyond that tent. And then I think another thing besides the music are the nonprofits. Mm -hmm. We exist to support 16 area uh, non Christian nonprofits here in West Michigan. Uh, we try to support them by giving them exposure, like at this event, they get to be there. Uh, we also try to support them by driving people to consider volunteering sure. uh, or, or do and or donating to them. So that's, a, that's one of the reasons we exist. We try to turn a dollar into two and then, then give that money away. And the Lord has blessed, blessed our efforts. We've been able to give away about a million and a half bucks over wow. the years. And so, you know, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. Then we have a ton of other nonprofits that want to be part of that. We can't fund, you know, 50 nonprofits, but they're there as well. They actually pay to be on site, but they get some pretty significant exposure. And then we have extensive children, teen, preteen areas, um, traveling farm and, and disc golf and uh, you name it, all that is free. Kids five and under are free. So, uh, yeah, so we do have a lot going on besides just the music. Yeah, I'll say so. So the first day is free, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. but how do people get tickets for, for the rest of the event? Do they go to the website? Can they just show up day of and get tickets at the Correct. box office? How's Both. it work? Yeah, you can go to unitymusicfestival.com, get tickets there, a lot of info. But we will be selling tickets uh, at the ticket booth, right, right at the venue as well. So you can get a one-day pass or a three-day pass. And if you haven't been out, I'd encourage you at least come out for the free day and check it out. And then you can decide, hey, this is my thing or it's not really my thing. Um, but this is year 24. Wow. So we were a little younger when we started. <laughs> and we're already doing some planning for next year, year 25. Oh, that's great. So we have all the information. If you missed any of it that was on the screen, we'll have it on our website as well. Link to your website, the whole nine yards. Uh, just check out fox17online.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, Shannon.